situation in the Middle East remains tense. It has been over 16 days since that fateful morning of October 7th when Hamas terrorized and attacked Israel. And since then, scores of countries have shown their support for Israel, one of them and most prominent being the United States. The Biden administration has shown its, quote, ironclad support for Israel. President Biden's visit to Israel showed that America's support is unconditional. They already have a carrier strike group in the eastern Mediterranean, soon to be joined by another in the region. Each aircraft carrier has more than 70 aircraft on board, which is a considerable firepower. The American president has also placed thousands of U.S. troops on standby to move to the region if required. The U.S., which is Israel's largest military backer, is providing them with about $3.8 billion of defense aid each year. And this is not just it. On Friday, President Biden asked Congress to approve $14 billion funding for its West Asian allies war chest as part of a $105 billion military aid package. Meanwhile, as per the White House, the United States has sent, quote, a few military advisors to Israel following the October 7th Hamas attacks. And of these officers have experience of, quote, the sort of operations that Israel is conducting and may conduct in the future and were, quote, over there to share some perspective. This is according to U.S. officials. But Israel is keen to launch its ground offensive. Washington is pressing Israel to delay it to allow negotiations for the release of American hostages and humanitarian aid to flow into the Gaza Strip. American officials also say that they hope the ground invasion will be delayed, but they are weary of playing into the narrative that Iran and its allies have long spread about the United States secretly controlling Israel. They further added that if there is an impression that U.S. officials are the ones pulling the string in Israel, it could drag America into a direct conflict with Iran or pro-Iran groups in the region. But the question is, is President Biden willing to become embroiled in another war, especially in an election year? Recent U.S. military adventures in the region have proved costly politically and economically and in terms of American lives. But the Secretary of State, Anthony Blinken, and Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin have asserted that the U.S. will respond if the situation escalates and any U.S. personnel or military are targeted. The former president, Barack Obama, even chimed in. He called on Israel to, quote, abide by international law. He warned that some of Israel's actions in Gaza may backfire. Obama said that some of Israel's actions in the war against Hamas, like cutting off food and water for Gaza, could, quote, harden Palestinian attitudes for generations. And it can also weaken international support for Israel. Political beliefs grown into the job because he can't.